Okay, in this example, we're given a fluid velocity field. So it's just a, a unidirectional unsteady velocity field. And we're asked to find if the, a fluid particle will accelerate in this flow and why. So if we want to find the acceleration of the fluid particle, we need to take its Lagrangian derivative. So the acceleration, recall, it will be the Lagrangian derivative of the velocity, which when we expand it out, will look like this. And then I can expand that out further. So I'll just write the whole thing out because we'll also use this for the second part of this example. Okay, so there's the Lagrangian derivative of the of uh, the velocity, which is just the acceleration. So we're given what the velocity field looks like. There are no x, y, or z components, so this term will be zero. I'm sorry, there, I, let me take that back. There's only an x component to this, but it's, this is not a function of x, y, or z. So when we take the derivative with respect to x, this term, it'll be zero. When we take the derivative with respect to y, it'll be zero. And the derivative with respect to z, it'll be zero. So each of these terms is zero. By the way, we call this part here the convective derivative. This accounts for changes in uh, accelerations due to changes in position. So that doesn't occur here. And that's because this is not a function of position. The only thing we're left with is this first term. That's the Eulerian derivative. So let's write that out. The time derivative of the velocity there will be just 2 in the ex hat direction. So our acceleration in this uh, velocity field is just equal to 2 ex hat. So it's an ex a constant acceleration in the x direction. So, uh, the, and I should also say that the reason we have this acceleration is due to the Eulerian portion of the uh, derivative, the Lagrangian derivative. So this is the Eulerian derivative, or also known as the local derivative. And like I mentioned before, this is the convective derivative. This whole derivative here is known as the Lagrangian derivative. It goes by different names. Lagrangian derivative, material derivative uh, are the, probably the two most common. So the Lagrangian derivative has two components to it, an Eulerian derivative or local derivative, which just takes into account um, changes in time, and then the convective derivative, which takes into account changes in position. So this does have an acceleration because it's unsteady, and so the Eulerian derivative is not equal to zero. All right, let's do the next one. We're told that the velocity field now looks like x in the ex hat uh, direction. So will the fluid particle accelerate in that flow? Well, just going back to our Lagrangian derivative here, we see that that first term will be zero because it's steady. So in this case, dut dt is going to be zero. Those are all vectors, by the way. Uh, the ux dx term, I'm sorry, ux du, du dx term, sorry, I can't speak here. That one will be x times ex hat. The x comes from the ux term, so that's just this bit right there. And then dux dx is the term I'm going to highlight in green here. So dux dx is just that. It's just taking the derivative of the whole velocity here. So it just, you know, d dx of x is just 1. So that's how we got that expression. And then the rest of these terms, there is no y component, and it's not a function of y, so that's 0. And there is no z component, and it's not a function of z, so this one is 0 as well. So in the end, our acceleration for the second flow field is x e x hat. So there is acceleration in this second velocity field, and the reason it occurs is because there's some convective portion to the acceleration. There is no Eulerian portion. It's a steady flow. You see there's no time in here. But we accelerate because we're changing position, x. As we move to larger x's, the velocity increases, right? 
as you're moving in the, we had like some X direction here, as you move along in this direction, the, the velocity will increase because it's increasing proportionally with X. So we're accelerating. So it's accelerations um, due to this convective derivative portion. Okay, I, hopefully that all makes sense to you. We'll go ahead and end the example there.